Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a different setting today. I'm just sitting outside my room, but the light is a little bit better. I've got a new unboxing video for you, another Ivy Park haul. Now this collection was called Ivy Heart. It dropped before Valentine's Day. And I've got some thoughts I would like to share before I get into the unboxing, because some of my stuff has arrived, most of my stuff has not. I ordered a few bits and bobs off ASOS actually. I believe the stuff I ordered on ASOS was a duplicate, so actually everything that I ordered is actually here. I'd like to say the slip-on, the, pl the plum, the plumes, or what they call the, sta the superstars, and the Stan Smiths dropped on Adidas site last night in the UK. They weren't there at launch. Um, I just want to share some thoughts about the launch right now. There was early access for Icon members for 10 items. Now normally before the drop, like two hours before, they upload the whole collection. So people can browse, look at sizes, look at details. And I mentioned that in my Dear Ivy Park video. This time around they didn't do that. They dropped the whole collection at 11 a.m. UK time. And everyone was panicking, everyone was stressing. And it was weird because the shoes weren't on the site. At drop time, the ones that just appeared lately, uh, we only had the slides, the savages and the ultra boosts to start off with. Some of the stuff was missing, like these, uh, the snake skin purse. Some of the sizes were whack, so it was a, it was a bit weird. Like the t-shirt came in size, large, extra large but none of the sizes below. It was very stressful. It didn't appear till about 11.06. So that was really stressful, really annoying. It did not like that because I didn't know what sizes to go for in certain items, which I'll de uh, detail in this video. Least favorite drop process of them doing it. There was a lot of stock, so that's okay. I think the things that sold out were the, the beret, the romper. Yeah, did not enjoy this drop process. It was very stressful, very annoying, very hit, hit and miss here and there. Just not fun. And he says, please sort this out. That my that was my experience with the stuff. But ASOS had I think 35 things. The collection had was like 50 something. I don't know, 58 items I believe on Adidas. So ASOS they've started to stop letting people use student discount on a lot of the stuff, which is frustrating. But I did manage to use student discount on a certain few pieces. So that's why I ordered on ASOS. That is my little ramble out of the way. That is my little explanation. That was my little story. That's my story time. That's my POV. On. let's get into the unboxing. There were a few pieces that I wanted from this drop that I got that were a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited to try something new and kind of push myself. So, without further waffling, without further ado, let's get into this Ivy Heart unboxing. First and foremost, we have the three pack of socks. Now, the socks went up in price from 23, from Halls of Ivy to 28, but I managed to snag a discount on ASOS, so I got them for about 24 pounds, so a little bit expensive, but I did have to stop raising the prices, for God's sake. A really gorgeous pink pair. Then there is a white pair and there's half a heart on each side, which is really cute. I think it's really nice. And then at the back, we have this kind of like purpley plum colored, very similar to the Ivy Park first drop, but a little bit lighter. So yeah, but these are a size large and I like them. They're always such a nice little accessory to have on there, a little pop to your outfit. And I like wearing these around the house. And even with non Ivy Park outfits, they're just like nice accenting items. So socks. Let's do the bottoms first. So I got the matching red set. The red set, I wasn't gonna get the joggers, but I saw the image with the Tercel neck and the joggers and I thought they would look really nice together. But like always, I'm not gonna go too into detail, but these are the Ivy Park red sweatpants. It's like a deep, gorgeous, like a lipstick red, I believe. And then the accent is kind of like a lighter red. It's a really gorgeous color. And this, I think this time they've stitched the Ivy Park logo here. Feels insane quality, cuffs at the bottom, Ivy Park on one side, Adidas on the left butt cheek, and two pockets on the back. You know how it goes, I don't need to go into detail, you just want to see me model it on and you want to see what these look like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous red colour. I feel like this would work well with this, this is from Gymshark. This together with like strawberries and cream. Chef's kiss look gorgeous um, and it will work really well with the icy as well, like mix and match because you can get strawberries and cream and like ice, strawberry ice cream and just it looks really nice together. And then we have the Ivy Park red hoodie, not sweatshirt, it's a hoodie and this is in a medium. Now this looks a lot bigger than last time but <gasps> is this new? I think they've added a few things to it. Unless I'm just being stupid. Ooh. Okay, again, same old color. We know what it looks like. We know what the logos and things are. I think the little heart detail is cute, but I want the Ivy Park logos front and center again. Here is a little heart on the left hand cheek, chest. They have like little metal toggles, which I think is new, which I quite like, because it feels a little bit like more premium. These hoodies and sweatpants are now 90 pounds, up from 85, which is 
a bummer. They are getting more and more expensive. And like I said in my Ivy Park video, they are losing details. Like I said, that little heart is a nice addition, but I want the Ivy Park logo back. Adidas, please stop charging an extortion amount. So the next item we have that I wanted to share with you was the turtleneck. Now, this is cropped but I don't think it's too cropped. Now I have tried cropped stuff before, like the Peloton hoodie and the shrug from Halls. Really unflattering, I don't do well in cropped, but this was a lot better in terms of not being as cropped. This is my first out of the box purchase. Again, really bold, like a light red, like, a can like an apple red, and really, really soft. On the underside of the neck, you have two stripes, and then on the inside, you have three stripes, I'll show you. On the back of it, you have Adidas and Ivy Park. This is a lot more crop than it looked like in the promo. Um, am I a little bit dark? I'll lighten the video up. But it's very heavy. It feels very good quality and very like decent. So I'm chuffed with that. And I'm excited to try it on and see what I look like with it on. A little bit nervous again because it's women's clothing. And even though I'm very open to it, it's still a little bit daunting to me. Next up we have the Ivy Park bucket hat. And I will most definitely be sending this back actually. I quite like it. So you've got the snake print and like faux fur on this side and it says Ivy Park in the front. My favourite side is the inside piece because it's like this plum purple. This would work really well with the drip one stuff. I actually quite like it and I may keep it. So we have the Ivy Park Savages again because I do love the Savages and they come in this gorgeous hot pink box again dust bag i wish there were tags in this one as well because i miss the tag like i like getting the tag it's basically the same savage as the halls one but it's like a creamy brown coffee color here for the under like for the sole and there's like a red mark there um ivy park on this tongue it's red and cream and like brown and like chocolate like a caramel color and in the inside is like a caramel color that says adidas ivy park can you see and then you've got the aglets which are like a nice candy red now the last item we have is the most expensive and it is the latex puffer now i'm not a big fan of latex and there was a lot of stuff latex related in the ic park drop and the rodeo drop and the halls drop I think Halls and Icy was the most prevalent. Latex clothing makes me feel a little bit icky. It's a little bit too, I don't know, in my head it's very sexual. I don't kind of join fashion with that. However, I saw this puffer and I wanted to try something different, try something new, and I really want to get into it because it looks really nice and like a really nice accenting item. I got this in a size large because it's cropped. Again, everything is cropped. Oh. Not as sticky as I thought it would be. Oh, it is very cropped. But damn. It's very thin. Like, it's not as... It smells... It smells fishy. It's really nice. It's a really nice jacket. It's so shiny. So all of this is latex, the hood. It's a very, like, thin latex material. It's not too heavy. Inside is, like, this puffy padding. Got pop buttons, like this. Inside it says... Adidas Ivy Park. I really like this. And on each side, you've got toggles to tighten it up a bit. You've got the three stripes running down the sleeve, if you can tell. And it kind of crops in at the arms. Kind of hidden, I guess, unless you poke it out. So, like, you can poke it out and it looks like this, or you can poke it in and it kind of cuffs and looks like that. So, Adidas is on one side. I can't go there. Okay. It doesn't smell as fishy as I thought it did at the beginning. At the beginning. It's, like, panelled. Ivy Park on the right sleeve. Rochelle will do B-roll for you. I am waiting on a few more bits that I want to review. So I bought the Stan Smiths, not for personal keeping reasons, purely because I, I wanted to review them for people who are actually interested in them. So they will be coming in tomorrow or Sunday, I think. So whenever they do, I will plop that footage in the video. But as for the main bulk of this video, I'm pretty much done. So yeah, I will pick you up when the rest of the stuff arrives, but I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video, um, and Rochelle will be free and model it for you. So I hope you enjoyed that too. The next day. Now, I just want to quickly include that I know some people get a little bit confused. Basically, on drop day, I order my main order, and then on ASOS, I order everything again, but using a discount if I can. And I order a lot of different sizes because 
you don't know what IP park sizing is like now, like you don't know what size you are, so I kind of order a plethora. So everything I show you in the video is the stuff I've bought, but everything you see in B-roll is the stuff I've decided to keep. And then the stuff that's mentioned in B-roll is all the stuff that's linked in the description with the matching sizes. So everything you see, so let's say I bought a medium sweatshirt and I kept that sweatshirt, I will model the medium sweatshirt. And then I'll also put in the description that that was the medium sweatshirt. So you can correlate two and two. So I hope that clears things up a little bit. So I ordered the velour tracksuit off ASOS and I managed to get a massive discount. Now the velour tracksuit was the first thing I wanted. However, I did not like the open leg end bit. Honestly, I try, I'm not gonna show you, I'm not modeling them on because I'm not keeping them, but I did try them on last night and they are really unflattering because they're really just straight. They make my legs look even wider and fatter than they are and they're pretty fat, so that's quite unflattering. The same with the track top, the jacket, because it's very tight. I got it in a medium to try because I don't know what the size is like again, but it was so tight, but the fit was really nice and I've got to tell you the velour, Oh my god, the velour. I can see why people hype it up. Look how... I don't know if you can tell how soft it is. That is how soft it is. It's literally... Oh, oh. It is the nicest thing I've ever felt. Ever. Right? I'm going to just quickly break it down for you. So, Adidas on the butt cheek. Three stripes in that red colour. And it's like this plum maroon again, like the bucket hat. The zippers are like this teardrop thing. Ivy Park is written on the right leg. They cuff off at the bottom like straight, like that. And that's very, very unflattering. The whole thing is just straight. Honestly, if the if they cropped at the bottom and if they were a little bit more flattering in terms of the fit and the proportions, I'd definitely keep it. I don't care how much this is, but I, I wouldn't have cared how much this cost. It is beautiful. It is so, so nice. If you've got the track bottoms, let me know what you think of them. They are, honestly, the material is so soft. It's like this, what do you call it? Like a fleece blanket, that's what it feels like. And then the top is really gorgeous as well. So it cuffs on the arms, again, stripes, and it's kind of like a collar like this, can you see? This reminds me of the track suits from Hawkeye. Zips inside is like absolutely stunning. And then you've got pocket on each side like this. I ordered the latex hat. So I don't know whether I'll keep this one or not because I've got the latex jacket and I think it looks really nice on the pictures and stuff paired together, but I think it's quite a lot all in one, I think. So but this is what it looks like. It's a really lovely colour. Three stripes on the front and you've got Ivy Park and it's a lovely latex and then at the back it's like this plastic thing and then in the inside it looks like this. So I don't know what kind of material it is. The only new thing I'm now waiting on is the Stan Smith. So once they arrive, I will do... A showcase of them and those I will try on even though I'm sending back because I did all of them for purely review purposes I'll see you in the next bit. Hello once again I am telling you that it is the next day uh, So this has been a pretty quick speedy process. I have the Stan Smiths here We're gonna unbox and then we're gonna finish the video off. So obviously they come in a lovely Hot pink box again initial reactions to what me pulling them out Okay. Let's go for the one without the tags on. This pair of shoes has definitely grown on me a lot more since I've seen it on people. Let's go into the details because we've never had a pair of Stan Smiths. Let's talk about the sole first. So the sole has half a heart. The other one has the other half, which I think is a really nice detail. It's really cute. And when you're walking, it's like a little pop of, oh, what's that? They said it's a little bit of flirtation when you walk, and I thought that was a pretty clever way of putting it. <sighs> this caramel dip, honey dip, whatever it's called, I definitely think this is the worst part of the shoe. The rest is this kind of like cream suede, I believe. This color should have been like red or pink to kind of accent that. Pink, I would have loved. That would have been really cute and I would have kept these. Or something else, maybe like pinky red, like gradual, like gradually dissolving into one. So yeah, on this side we have the Adidas logo there. It's weird because it's not level, like it gets higher here, which I understand, but surely it should just be like straight for continuation purposes, so a little bit higher at the front. But then it looked too dipped, so maybe maintain that like level. It feels like a sturdy pair of shoes. 
feels like rubber. I quite like it to be honest. I'm actually, the more I'm touching it and the more I'm feeling it, I'm quite enjoying. Like it's a nice sensory experience. Anyway, at the back of this one we have Adidas. The shoe lacing system is laces obviously and they, the dip, the aglets are dipped with like this lovely red. And inside, I'll show you, it is like really deep red. It comes up a lot brighter, but it's a lot darker. So this is the top down view of the shoe. I am a fan, I just can't really get over the fact that it literally looks like I've stepped in either a pot of tea or a bucket of gravy. So if you look closely, just underneath that, I don't know if you can tell, it says Ivy Park. But yeah, they're a lot nicer in person than the images show, but these are a definite send back. So I hope that was helpful for those of you who wanted to buy these and see what these look like. Obviously, I said throughout the video, Rochelle will insert B-roll and model everything for you. So I hope all the outfits look good on him and he models them well for you. But that is everything with this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it and getting excited over new materials, new fabrics, new pieces to try. So I'm I'm absolutely buzzing to be honest. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe my Instagram and my other social medias are linked down below. With that said, I shall see you guys in my next video, which will be next Tuesday. Till then, Stay Ivy, stay Park, stay Fly, stay looking sick, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.